Greetings, you two. It is your man in Japan, Jay Contra, here. I'm in downtown Oita City at the Hard Off, looking around for some things, checking some prices on some other things. If you look here, got an orange GameCube. This only ever came out in Japan, I think. It's going for about, what, $35 now? And we got over here, this you don't see very often, but it's a Mega Drive, well, Genesis CD Model 2. It's going for about $150. Genesis stuff in Japan is pretty expensive. Like I'll show you right now. Here we've got a Model 2 complete in the box for like $60. And then we've got another one, which for some reason is, um, it's like $70. And I can't really figure out why, except maybe. So this got taken in, I think in what, 2015 or 2016. And this one over here was taken in this year, 2017. So my guess is that the price fell or something. I really, you know, can't figure out what, what the hell happened. But this store is actually pretty good. The prices here are excellent. You can see here we've got a Famicom, AV Famicom for complete, well, I mean, you know, complete outside of the box. You can see it's got, yeah, it's got all the cords and everything. So this is going for $70. That's pretty good. We've got a Super Famicom in the box for $45. I guess that's the new average price. Used to be like $35, but you know, it's not 2015 anymore. So what are you gonna do? And look at that, the price, the price differential. Let me double check, make sure it's got all the cords. Yep, got all the cords. See, you got everything you could ever want for a Super Famicom, except you don't have the box. It's going for about $40 here. And for an extra five bucks, you can get the box. Although this does not have any manuals as far as I can tell. Anything else? Oh man, yeah, this Midnight Blue N64. This is pretty hard to find. Um, but at like $35, this is insane. This is a really good price. And I would buy it if I didn't already have it. Also make sure when you're looking to buy, um, when you're looking to buy N64s, if you look, this one has the memory expansion. You can tell because of the, the red uh, expansion pack in here. Um, that's like a $20 value. And you can get it here um, for, let's see, hold on. I think I knocked off the price tag. So yeah, so, you know, you can get it for like $30, $35 for the whole thing. Whereas you could buy one that, you know, these, you know, maybe they have the memory expansion, but if they don't, you're still, you're paying the same price. Like this one, no, this one doesn't eat, this has just the normal, the normal jumper and it's the same price. So why would you even buy that? And then $40 for a complete N64 right there. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, N64 stuff, uh, seems like it's actually going down in price, which is really annoying. And then come a Sega Saturn loose, $35, not bad. Oh, uh, 3DO, $60, okay, it's okay. Got some more, we got a big Xbox 360 arcade stick for $100. Uh, if you wanna play some nice shooters, that's a bit too nice, I think, for me. There's um, a stick for the Super Nintendo. And then we've got some more, wow, this is in great condition. Controller, I mean, this controller is not so good, but everything else is great for 30 bucks. That's insane. And I got GameCube in the box, 35. Why don't we go to the showcase? Yeah, here. Lots of DSIs, 3DSs. Oh, yeah, oh, here's, I've seen, <laughs> I came here a couple years ago and this was still here. Now, it's a, um, a Pokemon Game Boy Color that was sold exclusively at Pokemon Centers. And it's $100. If, uh, you're in, if, if you really want a nice Pokemon Game Boy Color, controllers, anything, oh yeah, here we go, a, um, a Genesis modem. I think maybe you can see the price over there. It's $100, even though I think now it's kind of useless. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Kind of like this Atelaview. It's really only useful for its collectible value. I mean, I'd buy it if I had the money, but. I don't, so I'm going to give it the hard pass this time. Okay, here's the games showcase. Anything good? Any good Nintendo games? Street Fighter Alpha 2 CIB. How much is it going for? 
$80? It's either 80 or 60. I can't tell because of the ink. Either way, that's insane. Oh, there's, um, I think, yeah. oh, there's Back to the Future 2 for the Super Famicom. I think that only came out in Japan. And yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's going for, I think, $70. Anything else? Oh, Super, <laughs> Super Return of the Jedi, going for $100. Hard to find here in Japan. Anything else that's good? Um, nothing stand out yet. Nothing I haven't seen a million times before. Some boxed N64 games that will never go up in price. Because fate hates me. Oh yeah, oh here's this here's some Saturn games. Let's see, what do we got? We got uh Dompachi. 80 bucks? Well no, 60 bucks. Seems a bit high. Guardian Heroes. And then oh Burning Rangers. There it is. For $20. That's Japan for you. Some uh, Super Famicom games. How much Super Metroid going for? 27? Not bad. Not bad. And then, oh, didn't I see? I think I saw, oh yeah, Sin and Punishment. I just skipped over it. Sin and Punishment for like $25? That's really good. Here's some more consoles. Here's all the modern ones. If, uh, if you care to see those, nothing really stand out except for like these big flight controllers. Like, I didn't realize the Xbox 360 had flight controllers, but this one can be yours for $200. <laughs> Let's see, some PS1 games. Oh, Symphony of the Night for $20. It's got some, you know, a bit, some scuffs to it. And the case apparently is a bit wonky. 20 bucks for Symphony of the Night? That's actually pretty good these days. Castlevania stuff's really gone up in value the last couple of years. What does the Dreamcast have for us? Street Fighter 3rd Strike. Street Fighter, another Street Fighter 3. Capcom vs. SNK. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh man, yeah, it's actually not bad. Oh, Sonic Adventure 2. Ooh, might pick this up one day. Damn it. Capcom vs. SNK. Power Stone, $10. Anything else? What is this? I don't know. Probably some. Probably some advent. No, it's a puzzle game. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that came out in Japan for the Dreamcast, but it's all stuff that I think never got released in America, and it's really, really no one knows a whole lot about. It's Sonic CD, 16 bucks. All right. Anything else? Ooh, we got some. Uh, mega Mega CD stuff. Air Force Delta. There's some Neo Geo CD stuff. I might pick this up once I get some money. Ooh, what's this? I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh, Top Hunter. What kind of game is this? Oh, fighting game. That's what kills me about uh, the Neo Geo is all the stuff that's not fighting game, that's not a fighting game is really expensive. <laughs> Oh, we got, ooh, Xevious in the box. This is a really good um, shooter. Oh, different stuff. Fire Emblem Gaiden. This recently got re-released for the 3DS as um, Fire Emblem Echoes. Shadows of Valencia. And we got Super Mario 3. $10, but no manual. Oh, no, it does have a manual. It doesn't, doesn't have that, like, plastic little interior that encases the cartridge. That's all it's missing. But 10 bucks. Normally see that in Tokyo for like 30. Mag Max. What the hell is this? I don't know. Never played it. Never heard of it. Oh, and um, what do we got? We got Final Fantasy 2 in the box and Final Fantasy 3 in the box. $8 for 3, $18 for 2. Let's see, we got some. Um... Hmm. Oh, there's Doom. Oh man, I think I got hosed. I think I bought this for like $20 somewhere else. Now I am the fool. Spin ball anything? Oh man. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. I played this a lot back in elementary school. Played it all the time. 
And then I played it recently and I realized, man, that's actually a hard game. And um, you're only going to get good at it if you practice at it, but I don't got time for that kind of stuff. Iron Man Hero, $10. And here's, oh, we got a little bins, and we got some Super Famicom games, GameCube games. Anything, Super Mario Sunshine, how much is Super Mario Sunshine? $28. Okay. Mario Twins Party 6. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out why this one. Oh, see, okay, this one, um... This one has the outer thing, but it's $7, and this one is $12, but it doesn't have the, like, you know, the nice outer case. What's the deal with that? Bait and Kaidos? I think I rented that from a Blockbuster once. Ghost Battle. Ooh. Very, whoa, $40 for Ghost Babble? Ooh, hopefully no one snatches that while I'm gone. I don't know what we get. Mario and Wario, the little mouse included, $15. Ooh, some Virtual Boy games, Tellero Boxer. I don't think I have this in the box. 10 bucks? That's almost a steal. What else we got? Oh, we got Smash Brothers Melee for Ten, twenty dollars. Wow. Anything good in here, this here box? Wonder. Wait, do I see Wonder Swan stuff? No. Oh, so you do see Virtual Racing. Virtual Racing for the Genesis. I actually just had to pick that up to complete a um, a Virtual Racing pack-in uh, complete. Model 2 box that I found. Pretty cheap. More modern stuff. Milestone Shooting Collection. What is that? What's in here? Oh. I mean, just kind of a bunch of different shooting games that aren't, like, it's not like a historical collection. I think it's just, like, newer, shooter, newer shooters that you can try out for the Wii. I've never seen this before. That's actually very interesting. Good. Oh, wow, I already got Switch stuff in. If only you could find the system itself. You find the games everywhere. Finding the system, that's the problem. Some PS3 stuff over there, not really that interested. PSP stuff, I recently got my, my first PSP. I'm really excited to um, play some of those games. But let's go to the junk section, my favorite section. Where's the junk? Oh, junk so showcase is over here. What do we have in the junk showcase? Just DS's and PSP's that I guess nobody wants anymore. I think this is like a, a limited edition new 3DS LL, but maybe you can tell there's like this little mark. I don't know, the screen got broke somehow. Oh, here's some disk system games. I guess I guess they put these in the junk because they don't they don't have a way of testing them. I guess they don't have a working disk system. Then we got Metroid 40, that's a bit expensive. Anything else? Some junk PS3s. Junk PS2. Eh. $40. I guess it works. Once again, if um, you find something in the junk section, they'll usually label if it works or not. Like, see, here's a Rob. Here's a Rob in the box. It doesn't have the manual. It's $40. It's pretty good. Um, it says all they've done is um, check to make sure that it powers on. So you don't even know if it's going to work with the game. And then in the back is a Famicom basic set. And that's where you could program games using Famicom and that keyboard. That's uh, definitely on my watch list. And here we go into the, uh, the fabulous junk section. We've got rows of fat PS3s of varying conditions of uh, repair. A lot of them have had, a lot of them don't work and have just had their hard drives removed. But they're still like $20. It's crazy. Which is bins, bins, and more bins of PlayStation 2 games that I guess nobody wants. I mean, I guess they did just come out with the HD remaster of Final Fantasy XII, where you get the one for PlayStation 2 for $3. Hmm, anything, anything good? 
Oh yeah, that's right. I actually looked through this, um, see if I could find some gems before starting filming, and I found this Dreamcast, like, I don't even know what the hell this is. Let's see, hold on, let's see. ASCII 2 Mission Stick. What? <laughs> what is this even for? I don't know, it's cool as hell though. How much is it? Do they have a price? Sometimes they put it on the cord here. No, well, that, I guess that means it's free. Anything else? No. I think it's crazy now. Now PS3 stuff is being put into the junk. I never thought I'd see the day, but I guess I've been in Japan long enough where the PS3 is now old news. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, and then here's some um, junk game cubes. One of these days what I want to do is I want to knock together an orange game cube with a black game cube and make a really cool like black and orange GameCube. Um, and you know, these orange GameCubes are in pretty good, um, a pretty good shape. Uh, but the black one isn't so much, so I think one of these days I'll try and find a good, a good black one from the junk. Smash them together, see what I can do, make some nice highlights, make some nice a black GameCube with some orange highlights. I think that'd be pretty cool. Junk Saturn. How much is a Junk Saturn? Oh, one doesn't look too hot, and it's $6. <laughs> Hmm, what else? Oh yeah, let's look in here. Let's see. I found a bin that's full of Super Famicom controllers for like three dollars a pop. They are a bit dirty. Let's, let's look in. Yeah, look at that. They got a lot of gunk. Some of them really yellow, as the uh, Super Famicom stuff tends to do. You can tell the back is okay, but the front, like, I don't know what it is. Is it the humidity? Is it smoking? Is it a combination? Is it the heat? No. It's actually not. Well, look, it'll be yellowing there. Oh yeah, this one's real bad. I wonder where this guy was put. It's like a 360 power brick. You find all kinds of crap here. I also found a lot of Xbox 360 controllers and uh. Wow, some um, Saturn controllers, $3. Hmm. Anything else? Good? Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. I was looking here before. This is just kind of a generic, it's got a lot of stuff kind of bin. Here's uh, Final Fantasy II for the Wonder Swan, $3. I also found Final Fantasy I for the Wonder Swan, also $3. I did find, oh yeah, Space Channel 5. Space Channel 5, $3. And it's even got the spine. That's crazy. Nothing else good? I don't know, if you see anything that you think is interesting that I skipped over, let me know, drop me a comment. I do read the comments. And uh, I'll take your suggestions, you know? I don't know everything. But I think if we combine our powers, um, maybe together we can all know everything. <laughs> Tetris in the box, three dollars. That's insane. Maybe one day that when they come out with the uh, with the Game Boy uh, Classic Mini, that'll actually be worth something. And here's a whole bin of GameCube games. Let's lay them out. What do we got? Donkey Konga, Animal Crossing, but no outer sheath. The Pokemon Channel. What? Wave Race, more Donkey Konga. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's some kind of... Oh, wow, you can connect a hard drive to the... Um... This lets you connect your hard drive to the system so that you can transfer data between the hard drive and the Xbox 360 without needing to remove the hard drive you've already got in place. Wow, that's like, it's not even opened. You have to 10 bucks. I think, I think this had a lot of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Crystal Chronicles, $3. Crystal Chronicles. Naruto, 2 More Naruto. Disney Sports Soccer, $3. I guess if you want to get the dregs of the GameCube, uh, you can come right here. 
Oh yeah, and then here is all of the junk Super Famicom games. Let's go down. We got some Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3. Looks like all of these are three bucks. I don't see a whole lot of difference in price. Chrono Trigger. Gun Hazard. Gun Hazard is actually very, it's a very interesting square game where you like pilot a mech. It's like an RPG. Um, I think there's Front. Or is Gun Hazard the one where it's more action-y? I can't remember. Mario Tennis, three dollars. Don't be calling the country, three dollars. Tactics Ogre, let us clean together, three dollars. Final Fantasy VI, three dollars. <laughs> Yoshi's Island, three freaking dollars. Like holy crap. Um, oh, and then here's the Famicom games. Famicom games and hard drives. <laughs> Heaven. I don't know a whole lot about Famicom games. You can check out my stream. I recently did Mahjong. You can buy it yourself for three dollars. <laughs> oh, and a Super Game Boy. Three dollars. Although I have seen them for a dollar in some places. Some places will have like so many Super Game Boys. You know, they don't even know what to do with them, so they put them on fire sale for a dollar. Been good. Any good PlayStation games? Mobile Suits, Macross, Wild Arms 2. I tried playing the first Wild Arms, but to be honest, I wasn't super impressed. Oh yeah, and then uh, so this is the stuff I picked. So I'll go through this and then I'll end um, this particular hands-on hard off. But I found a PlayStation 2. It's untested, but it's five dollars. So what the hell could go wrong? And then here's an N64. And if you go, if you look. They got a lot of junk in 64s. Let me see. I got three here, and then I found a fourth one. And what you got to do when you look at the N64s is you got to check for the expansion pack. Because then the people who are taking this stuff in, the employees, they don't care. They just say, oh, it's just an N64. We're not going to even bother checking. So they take in what is really like a $20 part, but they price it at, let's see, you can't see it, at $3. And so that's really good if you um, if you're insane like me and you want to collect all the different um, collect all the different models of N64, but you want them all to have the expansion pack. And then here's some um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting some nice uh, Super Famicom controllers for my collection, just as nice backups. Um, but yeah, so that's it for me. Hope you had a good time. I really like doing these videos. They're uh, not a whole lot of work, but everyone seems to enjoy them. So um, I'll be pumping out more of them. Um, Hope to see you next time. I've been Jay Contra saying thanks for watching and mahalo.